today I got a simple yet effective tool in the mail. I've needed one of these forever. They're less than $10 on Amazon, link in the description below. And they can help you diagnose your car properly. It's the Cartman 12 volt car battery and alternator tester. Let's get into it. All right, guys. Just that sample. So this uh, uses the juice coming off of your battery in your car. They didn't separate the wires from the manufacturer, so I got to do it and hope that it don't tear the wire open. So we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, that that should honestly do it. That actually should do it. So what we're dealing with here, I want to demonstrate that this here in a minute so with the car off not sure what this light's going to do but we're going to find out in today's episode the led would not be operated when batteries voltage detects as low as 9.9 .9 volts this is recognized as a defective battery so it's pretty simple make sure there's no instructions none yes there is there is surprisingly okay we got some Connect clamps, turn off engine, check before charge. Yeah, it says it right on. I don't know why I didn't read that. Check before charge. Battery's not okay, that ain't gonna light up. They're really simple, really straightforward. Let's go try it out. All right, well, they don't give us much uh, cord to play with here. That's one thing I don't like about it. But as you can see, with my car off, the battery checks out and is full charge, which does not surprise me because this is a brand spanking new battery. Let's see how she lights up when I start the car. And just like I suspected, my battery, my alternator is bad. Let me stop the car and explain what's going on here. That is a very interesting result and one I was hoping I wouldn't see. But what happened was this thing started shifting very, very, very hard. It was clunking into gear. And I read on the internet that it could be the uh, neutral safety switch, which is a pain in the neck to change. And then I read another thing that said where this is an electronic transmission, uh, if the alternator is going bad, it will cause that to happen. It doesn't clink all the time. But just so happens, I live five miles away from a generator repairman. And since it showed up faulty, I'm going to assume that the, gener the alternator is not throwing out the right voltage, not allowing the transmission to shift right. So I will definitely be repairing that for eight, nine dollars. I started there I'm pretty confident now because of this tool I figured out that my alternator ain't throwing the right juice and I want to go have that rebuilt. Hopefully that fixes the transmission and hopefully I'm back on the road because this car makes me good money. And that's it for the day ladies and gentlemen. I'll be leaving a link in the description below anybody that's interested in this. It's really cheap. I don't like the fact that the wires are a foot long. So that, that's gonna be an issue, but as far as, as far as figuring out a problem, as far as diagnosing your vehicle, this is a good place to start pretty cheap. And until next time, peace.